Hello everyone, it's Rita here and we are going to be working on the Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole which is a design by uh, Tanya at Tatty Treasures and Nanine at Collage Type. It's a collaboration. This um, kit that I'm using is an add-on um, to their already uh, full kits. Um, so if you've bought the kit and you want to make another journal or something, you can add some different elements to it. So this is the third week, um, Sunday, and I'm going to start putting uh, pockets and things in here. I have 92 pages in here. I had to take out... Um, hold on a second, my arm is chilly there. I had to take out, oh, 10, maybe 10, 9, 10 pages uh, because it was too thick. So now, well, the paper clips are now making the thickness, but uh, it was a little bit skinnier because I don't want it to, you know, we're going to put a tie on it, but I didn't want it to flop over. Okay, so um, what I did was I took and put two paper clips in. So one signature has four paper clips. I kind of, what I usually do is take my page is and divide them, um, like in four, and then I, if I think that's not enough uh, to fill up the book, I'll divide it by eight, and so forth. Okay. So usually I, it always seems to end up that I have four in a signature. So in this one, first signature, so I have two uh, on this side and two on this side. And that's uh, a nine page uh, signature. So it doesn't always come out even. Uh, in this case, and I usually use a page that can be covered, but this one I don't want to cover it. Um, and there's a lot of little journaling spots, so I'm just going to cover this side. Okay, so I'm going to leave that paper clip there for a moment. I need something to keep this open. Um, maybe a jar or something. No. <gasps> How about a clip? Gosh, why didn't you think of that? Okay, so there we go. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is make pockets. I have some that are already done and you know it just depends on what you want to put. You're not going to be able to put a lot in these mini journals but we'll try to dress it up as best we can. Okay so I'm going to ink around this. Um, oops. You know I used Stuck. I used a darker ink here. I think it was, um, I'm wondering if I used gathered twigs or did I use vintage photo, but I kind of wanted to go around these lighter. I got some uh, new inks. I got a package of four that came, and I had the tea dye, and that's what I really wanted was the tea dye. Okay, Ooh, I don't know. Maybe that will work. Maybe it won't. But I need a new inker, so let's just use the other side of this. This is kind of pinkish. I didn't think it was... But I didn't want to make it too dark on the edges. I guess that looks okay because I think... And I'm thinking this goes with Edith Holden as well. Alright, so let me get my glue and... Do I have it? Because I took it in the other room. Um, no. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had this in the other room because I was working on my little books. My little ephemera books. We had a discussion about that. Well, this is uh, a few days later, but Tanya has a... Um, and I hope everybody's able to see. I have tried to adjust this so many times. To I want to keep my head out of the out of the video. 
and I want to keep in screen and I just can't seem to get it. All right, I'm going to just go to the side here a little bit. Take the paper clip out because now I know. And like I said, I'm not going to embellish a whole bunch. I may come back and add some more things later. But okay, so now we need a journal card in that. And it's a little tight. Let me see. I shrunk everything down to uh, four to a page. So to make this miniature. Okay, so that one is skinny enough. Okay, I just may have to take a little off of uh, this one fit. Too long. Uh, I think I'll cut this off. I don't want to cut the tree off. And there's a line there. Might use that for a little embellishment up on one of the pages. Okay, it's barely. Oh, let me go a little bit more. Okay. So let's ink this. These I, I printed it on um, background paper. Maybe it's coffee dyed. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I kind of like that pink. Now am I crooked? Because my, my, what is the deal? Hold on. I'm trying to move it. If I can just get it just right, it would be great. Okay. Um, so I purchased some eyelets, um, eighth of an inch, because I never had eighth of an inch. I only had uh, these many, many eyelets, which work. Um, I may do something with these. I just don't like any of the colors except the black, pretty much just the black. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I could spray them or dip them in ink or what, alcohol ink. So I have these in the brass. So let's see. Um, okay, so this is the hole. Can you guys see that? The hole punch, it's an eighth of an inch. And I really couldn't get it to work in, earlier because um, I didn't have the little knob, this this uh, part correct. I still don't know if it is, but it did work last time I tried it. So it's so hard to, yeah, there, yeah, see it. You kind of hear it. Yeah, it's okay. It would be better. Could be. I'm just going to tap it with my hammer there. It's still, it's still kind of, maybe I don't have the right, see this says B, so I can't see any writing on the other sides. <clears throat> It should be better than that. Or maybe it's just the brand I bought. Hmm. I don't know. That's the one I usually use because it's all messed up. The plastic. That one I never used. Let me just stick this in here and see. Okay, that's better. But now I've gone almost <laughs> through that. Okay. Um, all right, so let's just stick that in there. And I need to go back and put a little tie. Um, I've got 
some of this little ribbon. I think I'll use this. I'm sorry, my desk is kind of messy because I had everything to get ready and then the, um, the eyelets wouldn't go in right. So this will be a trick. I'm just going to try and tie a bow. Right. Oh, come on. Normally I would iron this out. Um, take that crochet hook and try to catch it, but I don't even think that's going to work. No, I can't tie anything. It can't be that difficult. Alright, I'm not even going to bother with a bow. <laughs> I can't get it done. Alright, that's still cute. Okay. And I don't know if I want to put a word on here or leave it plain for the moment. Okay, so now we'll go to the next paper clip, which is here. And I'm going to put the embellishment on the other side. Okay, so I have this door and... Kind of goes with that turquoise there, doesn't it? Okay, let's see about inking it. I had to cut this way down. It was too big because this was designed for this door was designed for a a portrait uh, style. Okay, so hold on a second. I'm going to try and get this. I had a second piece of paper here because when I printed it, I didn't print it on cardstock. I just printed it on regular paper to give it a little bit more stability. got Alice. No, not that Alice. I want the little tiny Alice. Where'd you go? Just had her. Oh, where are you? Um, I hate that when I... I just had her. I'm going to put this little Alice here because um, Alice was went really small and so I wanted to show the distance, the difference in the door. I don't know if I want to put like a journal card in that or not. Or maybe I'll put her on a journal card. Let's see. This. Is that too much background? If I use that, I almost need it, a tab of some sort to pull it out, which I could do that. Um, I'm going to use one of these little circles. circle punch here. Nope, too small. <laughs> Is it this one? No, that, that's not it. I've got one. Oh. I just had it. 
Maybe it's this one. I don't know what size this is, but... stock. This doesn't seem as opaque as, not opaque, but, um, yeah, it's distressed. Okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to cut this so it fits. That right there. And I'm just going to do my scissors. I'm almost sure it, maybe this is, no? Because I had a set that made the hole punch um, rings. I think it's this one and this one. I don't know. Oh, that's a different punch. That's a tag punch. Wow, I'm going to keep that out. I almost bought one of those. Okay. Didn't remember if I inked around this or not. All right, and then I'll take and put a little tab there, and then we'll put Alice. Ink her a little bit. She's got white around her. I should have done these in um, washi. Okay, that'll be fine. And then um, I think I had a word that says either follow me or drink me. Because I think that's what made her small. She drank something. I haven't seen it in years, you guys. Years. I turned my mat over because I thought it was warped. Because every time I was trying to stamp it, my stamps didn't work. But I haven't stamped yet again. But I am going to get my platform out. tweezers for this. Um, I think this is so much fun to work with these little bitty pieces. I did a journal once before with this a small one out of that, like a jello box. Oops, kind of need to go this way. Okay. And now it's going to go in there. Whoops. It's not quite... It wasn't quite dry enough. Alright, so if I put that in there... Now I've got this little blank spot here. Um, I do have some small pieces of, of lace that might look okay. The teapots. If 
rather put those in a pocket. All right, I may come back and, and find other things that will work. If this is just all plain paper. Yeah. Well, I could, I guess I could put a label. That seems kind of boring. I thought I printed out more of these. Um, maybe I forgot to. Let's see what's in these little papers here that I didn't use. Alright, I'm not going to take forever. That is is going to be fine like that. Okay, we'll take that clip off. And here's another one. I think I was going to use this side because this side you can write on. So I have these, whoop, too tall. Okay, I can cut them down. Well, this one here is already done. It's got a journal card in it, and the word's upside down, so we'll put this I was thinking we could just clip it in. I don't think I have any really, really tiny paper clips. Yeah, this one is upside down, so... I think I'm just going to paper clip it in. Um, let's see... If I had punched a hole, I could hold something in. Not with that one, but <clears throat> oh, there's more of my clips that I can never. How about a rusty paper clip? Can't go wrong with rust and dust. <laughs> rust and dust. Oops. Oh, see, I don't like the way it does that. Let's put it on this side because I want it to stay closed. There, that'll work. Now, let's see if I can't put something on, on this little thing. That does look cute on there. Just afraid I'm going to want it for something else and I have to go print out a whole page. Um, I have these little, this flower trim. That's not bad. I thought I had, uh, oh, I have this trim. I got these out of uh, Down the Rabbit Hole Kit 2. Uh, these are in both shops. Uh, Tattered Treasures and Collage Type Shop. Okay. 
I just didn't like those two flowers right side by side. That would be a cute belly band, wouldn't it? If I, I think I might use one of those strips for a belly band. This would be a cute belly band, wouldn't it? Not quite big enough, but. Okay, I'm just gonna glue this on, just. I'm not sure if I like the tea dot here or not. It's so pink. But I think it'll look good with the Edith Holden. I'm gonna try to make some ephemera with Edith Holden. Not necessarily a journal right now, but maybe uh, a uh, folio. I feel like I just made one. I think I did, just don't remember. Alrighty, this I was gonna use for an ultra paper clip. So let's just wait on that one. All right, I'm gonna call that done. I know that if I get too much in here, <clears throat> uh, it's gonna be too crowded. Let's actually, let me close it and see. Well, see the paper clips are taking up that room and I think that's, that's a good thing because we know, all right much time up I spent. Oh my gosh, time goes so fast when you're having fun. All right, um, let's try another, okay, this is a, another pocket, but again, it's something you might want to clip on because it's got stuff on both sides. So I think we just did a clip on. So I'll save that one. I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to go back a page here because I, I kind of think that looks better on there than just this plain. I could put it here too. Mm -hmm. I think I like it on this one. Okay. I wonder, I've got dried marigold. I don't know what dried marigold is. I kind of think it's peach or orange. Very peachy. Peachy king. Now I think <clears throat> I don't know if I have another dauber. Let's I'm gonna test it on something. Let's test it on the inside. Actually, it's kind of pretty. Let's try that. Kind of is not a sepia, but that looks good. Okay. That didn't dry very fast. And I'm to put something in that. It's not glued down. 
on yet. Not glued. I could put like this in there though. Now I probably lost the stickiness. Okay. Um, oh, I like this little card here. General card. That adds a lot of color there. And um, what word do we have? I'm late. Uh, looking glass. Simply mad. I do like this card there. Um, I guess we'll use this tea dye again. Of course, I could have used the same as I put on the outside, right? Duh. All right. It looks fine. This is... coming off. I don't know which glue I used on that because that's, this may be the one, I might have used kids glue thinking it would work. All right, I'm just going to do I don't want to use off with his head. I don't like that phrase. Um, that's like my mom. Uh, certain she watches Little House on the Prairie all the time, and um, there's certain ones that. What is the one uh, when Albert is on morphine? She will not watch that episode. She doesn't like the way Albert looks or acts. Because he's such a good kid. And there's a couple other ones she won't watch. I thought there was a packing on this one I don't really need. No, I guess not. Um, and uh, my daughters, they had pulled out a lot of old pictures and stuff when everyone was here and my daughter said because one of my cousins sent her some stuff she goes they look like all her brothers it looked like they came from the Waltons and I go yeah I said that they were living in the depression and that's what people how they lived not everybody but a good portion and that's I said that's why she loves the Waltons so much when you know the TV show because it reminds her of her family, of the days during the 30s and 40s. Her brother's going off to war, things like that. Um, must have been hard. You know, she lived through a lot of wars already. All right, let's do, um, I can't remember if we did a tall one or not, but Oh, I don't want it on that side. I think I'll cut it down. And I'm going to have to cut that down to fit. I feel like I have more. There they are. I was going to say, I think I have more. Cards. Okay, let's cut this one down. It's nice when there's uh, writing on it. I'm going to cut it down a little bit more because I'm going to make a I like it when it has uh, writing on the page and you can just follow the, the writing. Make our little thingy. 
these. I can't remember if this goes on the outside or the inside. I think it goes on the inside. I don't know. I don't think it matters. All right. So let me get some more of this. Now I wonder if anybody knows, uh, is there uh, another color that's like a s more um, sepia? I have, let me check this one real quick. I'm not getting anything done. This is Rusty Hinge, but I felt like that was... Let me see if I have another dauber that's available. Just a little sponge. Let's see what this looks like. It's a little bit more orange. But I like it. Okay. So Tanya had, yesterday was Wednesday, and Tanya at Taddy Treasure had a live. And it was two hours long. <laughs> but I just kept watching it. It was fun to kind of meet some of my uh, subscribers, like Tamara was there. Uh, Laura, uh, Lorna Taylor, um, Denise, I'm trying to think, uh, Debbie, who's one of our uh, monitors on one of her monitors on her Facebook page. And um, who else was there? I got there actually too late in a way, but. Okay, so that's, that fits there. And I'm going to cut off the tab up here and make my own little eyelid hole. Oh, let me use my little punch. Look at that. I didn't even know I had that. That was probably... Oh, I better put these on the right things. a little too orange. Um, where's the lid? I bought these colors and I'll probably never use them. You know, you just kind of use the same thing you're used to. Okay, so let's put another eyelid in. Um, this time I'm going to put a small one in. I'll show you. I think a black one would look good. This is how I do the small eyelets. Um, I don't know what size these are. Doesn't say. So I don't know. I'm looking for my small punch. Bitty, itty, bitty, tiny punch. Pretty big, pretty tiny. And this fits in here. And then, um, okay, tools. If I would just learn to put things away as I'm working, uh, it would it would be so much better. I just can't do it. Try. There it is. Okay. So this goes like that, and this little guy 
sits in the eyelet like this and then and it's not working on this table because I have to have a extremely solid surface which is a bookcase I have <laughs> just finish it off with a hammer there that's perfect okay so yeah I have this kind of thing and it doesn't matter what size eyelet you use, it, it will work. Okay. So, let me put this in. I should ink the back a little bit. And then I want to put a little tie in there so um let's see I have black floss what other color I don't have another color yet no alright let's just use Some of this black string. It always looks okay. And I'm just going to tie it again. I think. Is it? Alright, just a few more minutes and then I don't know if I'll finish it in the last video because I kind of want to do the something else. Well, I think we just, did we just, no we didn't just do that. Okay, so let's I don't have a lot of options because let's um, take one of these and I'm still trying to find the right size. Too big. Okay, I can get the whole whatever that is I got. Where was I going to put that? just going to put a little something up there to give it some pizzazz. I don't think I can even ink that. Let's see. I should be able to put something else up there. label there. We haven't 
put a label in yet. Sorry, I don't want it. Um, I don't want it looking like that. It just just needs to have a little ink, though. in front of me and I can't find anything. <laughs> I'll be glad to get this one done this week, so then I'm going to try to, my mom's going to come and stay this, I think this weekend. Um, I've already ordered a heating pad for the, my twin bed. So this weekend, I'm hoping that I can do, I don't even like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. I'm looking for something to stick it on, but it might look okay. I'm just going to stick it on here. Okay. Okay, so let's glue this back down. I, that was to make it sturdier. I put two sheets of paper together. And it really didn't help. Okay. After I finish this one, this pocket here, I'm going to, um, Add some lace to the edges of the pages because I think that'll be really cute. I'm just going to kind of stick that in there and let those dry. I'm not going to do that. That's going to go there. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Still closing. So in the last video, I will put the ties on. Now, I could punch it. I could very well punch it. Um, or I thought about running ribbon behind here. And I don't really want it to glue down there. I think I will punch it. Okay, I put this eyelet testing, and I thought I would put it, maybe a charm. I used to have, I thought I had, um, I wonder if a jump ring would be, yeah, I can't get that on there right now, this looks too big. 
but I'm going to put it here to remind me. Maybe I'll go back and get a jump ring and put on there. But I think I have an Alice charm. I think somebody sent it to me, uh, but I don't know. Okay, so let's put some lace. Let's put lace on... Let's see. I'm trying to decide what... Maybe... Uh, do I want some on each side of the signature? Let's put some lace here. This is vintage lace. Handmade crocheted. Amazing, isn't it? That people did this. Okay. I'm trying to straighten it up. Okay. See how cute. Okay. Then let's do one in this side of the signature. Different lace. This one. I've got to um, actually go out and buy some more little lace because I'm running out. I'm using our glitter glue to glue this and it's always a good idea to you think you have it on straight turn your page then and then do the adjusting so it comes out better This is vintage as well. I kind of hate using my vintage, but what good is it if you don't use it? I've had it for two years, a lot of this that I bought in when I went to Michigan, when I could still drive them and everything. I miss driving up there or just going to new antique stores or that kind of thing. Okay, and then let's see, one there and let's do one on this side. Is that what I was doing? Yeah, one in each half. So one on this side. Oh my goodness, it's tight. I'll have to go back and lift it up a little bit. So let's put some, let's put some here. Okay. Um, I have some of this, but I thought about putting a little of this on the cover. I feel like it's going to be too bulky and it's not even going to show out, out the edge. So let's do this one. It's all vintage here. I 
don't do that. I guess it's okay if it does because it's it's a journal. I don't want all of them sticking out at the top. It's too much. Okay. <clears throat> then one on. I think I'll use something a little bit thicker on this um, one. I really do love this. on a longer page. Huh? Okay. Now, do I need any more? Alright, so I've got one, and then two, three, four, five, and I don't have any on this, on this side. So I need one more piece. I guess I'll put one of these I can. I just wanted to make sure I put some lace in this. Give it a little bit more of a fun item. So, um, if you're watching this till the end, which I hope you are, or fast forwarding it to the end, um, anyone who comments on this Alice journal, so there should be four videos, you can go back and watch and comment, will go into a drawing and you will get this little journal as a freebie, okay? So, um, I guess that's going to be it for today. I'm going to try to put some more uh, of the pieces in here, and then we'll work on the, um, uh, the uh, what do you call that? The closure. And maybe do some other embellishing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.